Hello, my friends. What's going on? Coach Show here at the Lion's Den. And the video that I wanted to make for you guys today had to deal with programming. So the program that I was on prior and then the program I am on right now, the comparisons, the differences, what I'm liking, what I'm not liking, how I'm feeling, and let's just get to it, baby. So the program that I had just gotten done for about 10 weeks was actually Brian Aldrew's program that he released a while ago, uh, whether it was for Alan Thrall or Omar, I forget who it was, but he came up with this template uh, that I actually wrote down and I filled in everything pretty much custom to me. So he created the base, which it was a four day split of a bench, a squat, overhead press, and a deadlift. And then it had the different intensities uh, throughout each. So it had like the, the component for the bench, the squat, the deadlift, or the overhead press. And it said either heavy, medium, or light. Then it had accessory. And then it had strongman at the bottom. And they kind of uh, revolved around so that you weren't hitting too much of one movement. And it kind of balanced itself out. And I really liked that. So. I wrote that down and I filled in everything that had been what I needed to train for. I had two strongman competitions. So of course in that strongman training, it revolves heavily around those events. Uh, the strength, I was just kind of plugging away different percentages and numbers that work for me. And overall, I thought it was a great program. So if you guys need a template, I'll put that link below to his video just because he's the man uh, and it kind of just helped me because I was transitioning more into strongman with a powerlifting base. Uh, when before it was a lot of weightlifting, which is my strength, okay, uh, not so much the powerlifting realm anymore. So it's just great to have somebody get that made and kind of just plug in everything as is and it worked really well. Now, that being said, after the 10 weeks, what I kind of figured out was that I was only benching, squatting, overhead pressing, and deadlifting really one time per week. Now with the strongman stuff, uh, there still is a lot of full body, you know, and picking up or deadlifts involved. Um, but really when I was just doing a conventional deadlift, it was one time per week. Uh, so when I was all done that program, and done my competitions, the biggest weakness that I saw was my deadlift and the strength in my deadlift. I did very well with a lot of other things, um, but I really wanted to take the next six to 10 weeks to focus on strengthening my deadlift. Now, everybody's like, well, how do you get your deadlift stronger? And for me, being a weightlifter, we don't really deadlift that much, so my deadlift numbers were pretty low, so I was just researching on how to get my deadlift up and pretty much one of the biggest things that I saw was, you know, squatting more, all right? Like just implement squatting. And before, like I said, I only had been squatting one day per week and deadlifting one day per week. So I wanted to increase the amount of times that I was squatting, I was deadlifting, uh, and kind of pretty much all my lifts because the more you can lift, as long as the intensity and the volume is good, then you're getting more practice, you're working with heavier weights, uh, and you're just gonna get stronger overall. So this leads me to my newer program, and I'm actually gonna run you through an entire week of what I do, and you guys can feel free to take this template, this program, this week cycle. You could even do it for four weeks if you wanted to, um, and then just see how it works for you and just kind of get a glimpse of how I train and what I'm doing. It's actually 82 degrees right now, and. I didn't have a t-shirt, so I had to throw my hoodie on. I'm sweating, baby. Who needs conditioning when you just <laughs> throw on a sweatshirt? With this new program, I'm actually on a five-day split, so I train five days a week. Uh, typically, on my off days, I like to do on a Tuesday, which would be an off day, I work on the clean and jerk, and on a Thursday, I work on the snatch. Now, that is purely technique work. You know, working on my pulls, getting some reps in, anywhere from 60 to 85%, really. I'm not going for one rep maxes. Um, and I'm just keeping that skill that I have. So a lot of people ask me, how do I incorporate weightlifting along with the programming that I do now? And since it's not my main focus or priority, it's that I just keep that skill. If I can keep getting stronger and still keep my speed in the lifts and technique, that's all I'm trying to do. So I do that on my off days as well as try to work on mobility or skill work. Like I like to work on the rings or the parallettes or just stuff I don't normally do. That's what I'll kind of throw in on my off day. Um, I don't take completely off too often. You know, one day, always a week, maybe two, seeing how things go. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys my four days that I had for this week. And so get your pen, your paper ready. You can write all this stuff down. Uh, ask any questions below and feel free to use this in your training. Day one, I apologize that the lighting is absolutely horrible, but we're doing the best we can. So on your piece of paper, write day one, underline it. 
When I started this program, uh, the, for day one, it started at 65, 70%, okay? So this is a linear periodization program, so that means each week I either went up zero, five, or 10 pounds, depending on how I felt, uh, and just my body, and programmed it up that steadily, okay? So I started low, and each week just got harder and harder and harder. So first couple weeks felt fantastic. Um, so it's a back squat, three by six, like I said, 65, 70%, bench press, three by three, um, and when that started, that was about 80%, okay? Uh, and then there's two drop sets of anywhere from eight to 12 reps. So after you've done your three by three, you're gonna drop, and then you're gonna hit those. Now for the accessory, so there's always a squat and then a bench, followed up by accessory, and this is primarily an upper body day, okay? So for that upper body, we did dumbbell chest flies, eight to 12 reps, we have weighted dips, eight to 12 reps, uh, 15 leg raises to get the ab work in, and then we have 20 band pull down or tricep pull downs, okay, just to work those triceps. And the whole point of the accessory is to make the main lift stronger, okay, if you didn't know that. And we did that for three rounds. Then for conditioning, because I always want to have some sort of conditioning component, it's an every minute on the minute, so you set the clock for 12 minutes, and in 60 seconds, you have to complete 10 body weight squats, five push-ups, and three burpees. And you'll do that for 12 total rounds. So if that takes you around 30 seconds, you got 30 seconds of rest, so it's a one-one work to rest ratio, and you'll bang that out. For day two, okay, which would be, we'd have a rest day in between, and then normally, so if it was Monday, then be rest day Tuesday, and then Wednesday. That's how I normally do it. Um, we have our back squat three by five, okay, so you wanna hit this for about 70% across, and then you're gonna do two drop sets of 10 reps, all right? So just drop whatever you have to. Uh, this is more just for volume, okay? Feeling that burn hypertrophy. And then we're gonna bench three by two at 90%, all right? So it starts off with the squat, goes to a bench, and then the accessory is mainly lower body for this day. So we have front squat for eight reps, we have RDLs for 10, dumbbell lunges so we get some unilateral work there uh, for six to each leg and then 15 kettlebell swings which just work in the glutes as well as keeping your heart rate up a little bit. For conditioning on this day, it's actually a Tabata, okay, so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. What I like to do for Tabatas is pick two movements and alternate on the, the uh, work period. So for this one, we do ball slams, rest 10 seconds, and then back to work with Russian twists for core work. Then I do sledgehammer, so we're banging back and forth with sledgehammers, and then we have jumping jacks. Then for this one, it's dumbbell snatch and mountain climbers, all right? So that's four minutes for each of those, so it's 12 minutes of conditioning total. If you guys have watched any of my other videos or on my Reddit q and I talk about how I like to keep everything short and explosive. A Tabata is a great way to do that, and trying to keep it you know, 16 minutes or below for your conditioning work. So now we're on day three. So this would typically be a Friday, and we always have some sort of max out Friday event uh, that I do and that we do at the gym here. Uh, but this is gonna be more of our bodybuilding and kind of like the easier day of the week, uh, hitting different types of movements. So we're gonna start with a back squat, and it's gonna be three by four at 70% of your one rep max. Then it's gonna go to a strict press three by five across, so you pick whatever weight you wanna do, three sets, five reps, staying across, and then it's superseted with pull-ups, okay? So the back squat's its own component, then the strict press and the pull-ups are a superset. Uh, for the accessory then, we're gonna do barbell rows, or a row variation for eight reps, a farmer carry, okay, with uh, dumbbells, or uh, farmer handles if you can, approximately uh, 50 to 100 feet, you know, depending on your ability or what you're trying to accomplish. And then we have a dumbbell bent over side raises for the shoulders, and then dumbbell curls. <laughs> um, we'll do that whole thing for three to four rounds, okay? Um, for the conditioning, it's a sled push, down and back, about 50 yards, an overhead carry, any variation, seven clean and press, and then uh, 15 sit-ups. That's not for time, it's just getting it through, getting it done. And then the Max Out Friday challenge for this week was heaviest stone over the bar at 48 inches. 
On the fourth day, guys, it's always some sort of deadlift, okay? Um, I have to get better at those deadlifts, so on the fourth day, I designate that just to doing deadlifts as well as strongman. So depending on if I have a competition coming up, which I do, uh, I'm working specifically for those events because I'm about four weeks out uh, from that competition. Um, I try not to kill it too much with the strongman right now because I'm not trying to fry my central nervous system, uh, so I'm keeping everything a little bit lighter, working on my technique, and just getting confident with those movements. But I will say that from doing this style programming, I'm very confident with heavier weights. Uh, as you guys did see my video, I did deadlift 600 pounds, which was a huge milestone for me, and I think it was just because I kept pushing those squats more and I was, I was deadlifting just on a deadlifting designated day uh, on top of the, the squatting at least three days a week. So there's a lot of posterior chain going on and it definitely had an impact on my deadlift. Now, as there are pros, there are some cons. I will say that the amount of times I was squatting and benching, it did wear me down a lot. Um, I have knee tendonitis that's pretty bad and I haven't had that in a while. So I think the amount of times I was squatting can, going from one time a week uh, until about three or four times a week really does bang up your knees. Um, it's tough running a business and trying to mobilize, get massages, go to the chiropractor. Uh, I know I'm not trying to make an excuse here, but when it comes to it, I'm not putting in enough time to stay as mobile uh, as that I should be and taking care of my body as much as I should be. So I do feel pretty banged up. So what I'm gonna try to do is go back for the next couple weeks before my competition, and I'm gonna scale down the volume. I'm still gonna keep the intensity pretty high, okay? So I'm still gonna be pushing some heavier weights, um, but I'm gonna scale back the amount of times I'm squatting per week, um, and just try to really refine my skills and work on that. So that's pretty much the lowdown of what I've been doing for the last several weeks, and then what I was doing before, which was Brian Alzer's program. Hopefully you guys can kind of just get a gist of what I'm doing or take some thoughts, some ideas, some of the, the training or the workouts I'm doing and implement them into your training. So just another thought on programming. A lot of people are like, man, do you, do you love 531 or do you want Cube or do you do uh, West Side, Conjugate, and all that kind of stuff. Um, when really what I like to do is just revolve my programs. You know, I'll do a program for 12, 16 weeks and I'll, I'll think of all the great things I like from that program. I'll see how I felt. I'll take notes and ideas, and if it's working, I stay with it. Now, if I'm really starting to plateau or my progress isn't changing, then I need to change the programming or change something, okay? I adapted to that program, and now it's time to switch it up. So I would say whatever you're doing, if it's working, stay on it, right? If it's not broken, don't fix it. But if you're having a plateau issue and you're still doing the same program over and over and over again, then just switch it up completely. Okay? When you switch it up and the body has to adapt to a new training stimulus, that is where the growth happens. So that's just my take on programming. Um, like I said, hopefully you guys took something from this. If you guys need any help or tips and tricks with programming, please just shoot me an email. I write programs for people all over the US uh, and I'm getting better at it. So I'm really excited to just help you guys out. But anyway, I got the Brian Alger seminar tomorrow. I'm super excited. He is the man, the myth, the legend and uh, just a good friend. So it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna be putting up some video footage of that, so you're gonna make sure to check that out. But until then guys, stay Lean Mean Strength Machines. Peace.